Imagine having a magical box full of musical gems that you can effortlessly choose a sound from. So if you're feeling some smooth, silky R&B or some hot pan and speaker thumping EDM or some head nodding hip hop rap, this plugin I'm about to show you is an absolute game changer. I use this all the time in my productions, especially one that I'm going to show you in particular, which is my favorite. Plugin name is Arcade by Apple, who is today's video sponsors. Thank you very much for sponsoring today's video. Go to this website, download the plugin. There's a free trial. I think it's like a 30 day trial. Use my link. It doesn't cost you no more. Download it, open up the chosen door and then start creating. Let me show you what this plugin is all about. So let's open up Arcade. Just look at the interface, how it's put together. You've got all your different sounds recommended for you, recently used, the latest sounds. That's what I like about Arcade, it's always getting updated, new sounds and stuff. You know, look, you've got vocals, you've got all these different sounds in one plugin. Chill vibes, melody writing, club sounds, organic track starters. So if you're stuck for an idea and how to create a beat, then you can just start with that. So this is the home page. This is the home section of Arcade. You've got your search bar. You can go in there and search if you need to. Let's try guitars, see what that brings up. Boom, cool. we'll put all that guitars. And you can just clear it. You can go to instruments and find your different instruments, different sounds. Hold on, let's just go to guitars. Let's hear what the guitars sound like. Big man team. <laughs> Yeah, I like the name. So we've got some, what, reggae? Yeah, what's our reggae there? So if you like that sound, that type of sound, then you're good. Got some pop sounds there. But you don't want to just like take the whole thing and just say it's your own. You just want to take little bits and pieces and just create something, which I'm going to show you in a minute, how I use it. But yeah, as you can see, spoiled for choice on sounds. Oof. I like that. That sounds so cool. I can imagine someone like Drake or The Weeknd on that. That sounds amazing. So I just wanna try out this little drum pattern here. I'm gonna use this one that already got up. So that hooked, I'll tell you about hooked in a minute, but that, that is my favorite thing to use on it. But I've got this sample, these sounds for this beat that I got, this Afro type beat. And I'm just gonna show you how to use the samples. There's a section called drip. And it's got all these different sounds in there. Flute, dark, trap, piano, synth, single, sound, bass, brass, all sorts. You can preview each, each sound. That's why I press and play. So I'm not going to go through it all. You can do that in your own time once you've downloaded it. But in particular, I want to choose this sampler here, this play sampler. If you press the keys, the white keys, it's going to play all the different sounds. And then on the black keys, you've got some modifiers. So let's just go through the sounds and hear what we've got. It's giving you two octaves of sounds from C to C. So pressing the white keys and then the black keys together, it, give, it will modify the sound. And let me mention, I won't forget to mention that you can change the key to the sound. So if you've got the specific key for the beat that you're making, the song that you're creating, you can change the key. Let's try A minor. So at the moment it's on C sharp minor. Amazing. And you can change the octave. That's giving me an idea for a beat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna save that, save that idea. You can go up on octave. <sighs> God, 
I've got a crazy idea for that. And you can go in and tweak the samples if you really wanna. So that's the whole sample. You can modify it. It gets very technical. If you're into all of that, chopping samples and changing stuff and look, snapping it to the grid and changing the grid values, to the transient, to the quarter notes, to the bars. It's, it's just all there for you. It's like having a whole crate of sands, like the sands just stuff, a world of sands that you can just manipulate to your heart's content. You've got your mixer, you can change it, change the sounds, the volume, the panning, double click and it's going to take you back there. You've got a choice of effects. You want to change some effects, you can. Right, look at this. Incredible. Modulation. I don't really mess around with all this stuff here. I'm just, I just like how it sounds straight out of the box. But if you're, like I said, if you're into, if you're into changing up sounds and creating your own sounds, you can. And I think it's a good thing as well because obviously a lot of people are going to be using this, but you can go in there and tweak it up to make it sound different, make it your own. Get creative. Go back to sample edit, you can change the speed. <sighs> Incredible. Hold on, hold on, let me take that back to where it was. Right, so I need to write down the idea that I had for the beat, sad but true, and it was... A. A. Right, so I'm gonna try this on this uh, Afro beat and see how that sounds. I've got, a, I've got some chords in here. I don't feel like feel like it's the right key. Let me see if it works without those chords in there. Ooh, <laughs> okay. All right, let's run with that. Get another instance of it. This isn't sounding too bad at all. Yeah, so we've got that part there as well. I'm just going to drag it down because I didn't make its own. Um, its own uh, channel. Right, so I want to put a little satin on there. Okay, and then I want to see. I just want to see if arcade. Ar I just want to see if arcade's got any eight oh eight for me. Let's go to lines. And by the way, you can also you can go to one shots. And I think with one shots you can play each individual note again. Like 
opens up so much to you because you can... Flutes. Now I've got some flutes in the same plugin. Let's see if I can get some flutes in there. Wait a second. Some volume issues there. Actually, I don't think we need any flutes in there because it's sounding a bit busy. So all I want to do is get some 808s and let's see if let's see if RK can deliver. So we're gonna to go to samplers, search. Let's see what they got in the way of 808. Hmm, let's try bass. Oof. That old school dubstep. Let's try that. Yes, I think someone like Pastor Lou will sound amazing on this. Okay, let's get that in time. It's a bit sloppy. Let's name it. Got some timing issues. Oh my, right, that sounds fire. Right, so let me show you my, my absolute favorite, excuse the noise. So my absolute favorite instrument to use in arcade is, is hooked. And I just wanna show you, if you go to lines, and then, I'm not gonna do the drill beat thing. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna do the drill beat maybe as a beat, another beat making video. I've got the idea, so yeah, just keep an eye out for that. If you're interested in seeing that way here, hit that like button for me, subscribe for me, because it helps the channel. And then YouTube will want to push it out to more people for them to see it, and everyone's happy. So let me just close this window, because it's wild out there today. So if you go to lines and you click on to halt, this here is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to play a couple for you to hear. And that's just a few of them. So if you're looking for some, if you're looking for vocal samples, there you go. So I'm just gonna find one that will fit this beat, if any will fit this beat. And what you can do is as well, right, while you're playing your beat, you can just, you can preview the sounds and it will be in time. Just gonna quickly name everything. Piano, um, horn.
So I've just rooted the bass to the proper bass, bass bus. And I was running why I wasn't getting that, that feeling of the bass, found it. And you just, you can hit, you just heard it for yourself. Wow. All right, so let's just drop that um, vocal in. And like I said, hooked is probably one of my, you know, really is my favorite instrument to use on arcade. Let's see if this works. Nah, that doesn't work. Let's see what we've got. Found it, my friends. Okay, let's see if we can get drop that in there. It's, it's a bit busy, so it might not work, but let's, let's just see. Away, I'm using the modifier button um, key as well just to add some extra spice and and then they, and then they forgot something. So I've got this little loop here now. So that's what 16 bar loop. I lied. It's an eight bar loop. Create a little structure. Got the drum pattern there. I want to start with keys. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll bring everything over to the start because that's like a, that's our basis. So. We can do that, drop that there. And obviously we don't want everything at the start of the beat. So we go with, take the bass out. And let's see if Arcade's got any effects we can drop in there. So I don't know if Arcade can deliver on effects. I could be doing. Oh, wait. Oh, it looks like we have got some effects. <laughs> this thing, even after all this time I've been using it, it's. It's still wowing me. Right, falling perk sounds good. Maybe not. Hmm. That's exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. So if I click generate sampler, slice in my audio. Hey, how are we gonna drop this in now? Lovely. So we put that right there, and that's too long an intro. We need to half that. Let's get that over to there.
yeah, let's just take that little piece out of here. Because I like that. So we've got the intro. We've got, whoops, it days. <laughs> Getting a bit excited. Um, so we've got the intro and then we've got, let's spell it correctly. And then we've got the, uh, I like to come in with the hooks more or less straight away when I'm making beats and then when it comes to working with artists then we, we structure it different. But for now, go for the hook and then we say verse one. And it's just gonna be all eight bars, short and sweet. Keep keep the listening as wanting some more. Then we go back into the hook after that eight. Hook two and then wait, verse verse two. And if you're wondering how I'm creating these these uh markers, I'm just pressing alt and quotation marks. But I think I set that up to for myself to do. So hook first after verse two, we're gonna to go to hook three. Hmm. And then first hook, first one, hook, first two, hook again, hook three, bridge. No, not bridge, but a break. Break and then outro. So let's just see how that works. I'm not gonna play the whole thing to you, but you can just see how easy and how quickly you can structure your beat. So if you just highlight all your files and press command and R. It's going to just drop it next to your available space, which is where the hook is. And yeah, that works nicely. We've got a whole beat there now. For the break, I would probably take out the drums and maybe introduce some new sounds in the break. So let's see what else we've got. Maybe we could take out the bass as well. Okay. Okay. So let's see how that goes. Arcade output. If you're not using it, you need to. There's trial period. Test it out for yourself. There's so much different sounds in it. I'm saving that as something different because I've got another beat on there that I want to finish off. And um, we're going to call that Run. Run away. YouTube beat. Amazing. Love it. So yeah, like I said, go get that. Get it on your productions. Test that out for yourself. Hey, there, Charles. You can't go wrong. Use my affiliate link. Doesn't cost you no extra. Go and test it for yourself. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, you won't do, you won't be disappointed using this. It's yeah. I know the word gets rinsed a lot, game changer, but this really is a game changer. So if you like this video, got two more videos here for you to choose from and check out. And I'll see you over there.